Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Language and Life Skills I am Matthew Adekani The topic of our discussion for today is about love What is love? What are the different kinds of love? Love we know is the strongest emotion in life It is the most powerful and it is the most productive God himself is called love and love is a passion that is most represented on the stage as also in movies. Love makes the world go round and yet love is a word and a concept that is very much misunderstood. Let us see today what are the people's thoughts about love. Teenagers experience a crush. That is an attraction, passing attraction to someone of their classmate or to a teacher of the opposite sex. This is something passing and sentimental, it won't last. It may be also known as puppy love. Similar to it, there is infatuation, an intense passion for a person of the opposite sex. This infatuation is based on beauty and appearance. Infatuation can make you reckless and lose your, make you lose your mental balance or judgment. A classic case of infatuation is the tragedy of Antony and Cleopatra, where the great general and military fighter Antony ruined his distinguished military career by his foolish love for Cleopatra. The next kind of uh, love is erotic love, a love that is merely based on appearance, on sex appeal. Somebody turns you on, as they say, and you are attracted to that person. You have an urge to possess that person. You are only interested in satisfying yourself, so it is self-centered. Another kind of love is the possessive and jealous love. It is very dangerous in a, uh, families, you family situation. A husband who is very jealous and possessive of his wife, he will not allow her any freedom. He may like to lock her up in the house and keep the, uh, keep the key to himself. He will not allow even ordinary friendship with other people. Such uh, love is uh, unhealthy, it is possessive and jealous. There is another kind of love which is violent. Forcing somebody to love you. If you don't agree to marry me, then I will kill you. You have no right to live. So, I can threaten you and marry you. Or if you don't agree to marry me, then I will throw acid on your face you will be disfigured. Another form of this violence is annihilating love. Okay, you don't love me, then both you and I will stop to exist. I will kill you and then kill myself. So we will erase our lives on this earth. Another form of this violence is violence towards self. Well, you don't marry me, I become depressed and I will commit suicide. I will take my life and you will be responsible for it. I will hold you up responsible for it. I kill myself because of you. You refuse to love me. So you will carry this guilt feeling uh, along with you all your life. This, this is suicidal love. Still another kind of love is the worldly love. Marrying someone merely for shallow reasons like wealth, prestige or glamour. It happens especially among film stars and uh, glamorous people. Since his love is very shallow, it is short-lived and very often there will be a uh, uh, divorce following a few months or few years after the marriage because it is a worldly love. These are the negative forms of love. Come to the positive forms. 
A very positive form of love is self-giving love. I make a gift of myself to you, totally, forever. My body, my mind, my soul. An unconditional love and I love you to the end, till my death. It doesn't matter what will happen after our marriage. Whether we experience sickness, misfortune, poverty or whatever, we are together for life, till death. This is true love, self-giving love. It seeks to give and give and doesn't consider what it receives. And then there is another form of love which is outside the frame of framework of marriage, outside conjugal love, that is consecrated celibacy. Priests and nuns and sannyasis embrace this form of love. They consecrate their life to God and they are dedicated to society. They renounce marriage. They are not tied down to any particular person. That does not mean they are cold, unloving people. No, their heart is wide open to everyone. They embrace the whole world. But no particular person has a claim on him or on her. Friends, these are some of the attitudes and approaches to love. Love, as you see, is central to human life. In fact, if you have not loved, you have not lived. If you are not loved, you have not lived. I hope you have liked this video. If you did, please subscribe. See you another time. Bye for today.